I'm so excited to be running the race with my dad. I, we still can't believe it. Mm -hmm. We just, it, it's going to be the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, we've watched the show forever and we just can't wait to get out there and we're so excited to run it. I mean, I'm telling you, when the Amazing Race is on, our TV is on. Six, like six TVs in our house. Is on. Our, it is recording. He's going to watch it again. I mean, <laughs> such a fan. And I'm a huge fan, too, but he is the super fan. <laughs> but, yeah, and he loves competition. He loves challenge. He loves, you know, adventure. And what better place to see it than on the Amazing Race? I'm an old guy, too. I'm probably, you know, I was told I was the oldest guy in the race, and I'm kind of excited about that. I, I like competing in marathons and triathlons, and I like seeing the younger guys. That Ooh, I'm like, oh, look at that old guy. We yeah. got him. <laughs> He's been such an example to everyone in this community, uh -huh. physical fitness and extreme. And the Amazing Race is a wonderful place to showcase that, how hard mm -hmm. he's worked. And 53 years old, 53 years young, you better watch out, you <laughs> teenagers or whoever, however young these people are going to be, because he's, he's got it. This year, I'm Miss Kentucky for the Miss America system. I competed in Miss America in January, and I was fourth runner-up. Still crazy to say. I got lucky. Um, so as Miss Kentucky, it's a job of service, which people look at us and think, beauty queens. And it is just so not about that at all. I wake up at 3 and 4 in the morning and drive to some crazy little mountain town in eastern Kentucky and speak at six schools and do a Christmas parade and ride a camel and do an autograph signing. I mean, you just never know what you're going to have in a day. So, and I get home and sleep for three hours and start it again the next day. So, it took me three years to win Miss Kentucky, uh, third time's charm. <laughs> and that shows my hard work and, and perseverance and how when I want something and I feel like it's in, in my path, I will do anything that I have to do to get it. Uh, you know, he, he made us tough and if we were crying or complaining about something, he wasn't gonna be like, it's okay, it's my little girl, her face just melts. It, it's just, it's snake. Just like, Toughen up. <laughs> like the cut eye and come here, I got some super glue, I can fix it up. <laughs> right, whereas most people would think, oh, my pretty little girl, her face, it's gonna be scarred. He's just like, we don't have time to drive to the hospital. <laughs> it's 15 miles. <laughs> Uh, my dad first started taking me hunting when, gosh, I was probably six or seven. I shot my first deer when I was eight, an eight-point buck, and I can still remember back in those woods. We we learned. I learned to fly when I was in college. It was an affordable program that I was able to do, and I've used it my entire career in business. And we travel. It's a very effective way for us to be able to live in a rural area yet work in cities and to get around quicker. But. Uh, we want to be one of those teams that gets cut and is like, I can't believe if I only would have done this. It's such a wonderful opportunity to get to get to come this far and something that we're so thankful for and something that we would never in a million years take for granted.